Hello friends, welcome back to my kitchen. So today we're gonna to make one of my favorite desserts, chocolate covered peanut butter balls. It's a pretty easy recipe. Um, you might need a little bit of help to melt the chocolate. So let me tell you what you're gonna need. You are gonna need a half a cup of butter, which is a full stick. You can see the measurement. So you're gonna need one full stick or a half a cup of butter. You're going to need one and a half cups of peanut butter. You can use crunchy or creamy. We like creamy, so we have that here. And we're gonna need two cups of powdered sugar. Um, one teaspoon of vanilla, which I need to get out of my pantry. And then you're gonna need either uh, chocolate chips or melting chocolate and I still have melting chocolate because we use this a lot around the house. So um, you can use melting chocolates or chocolate chips and then about a teaspoon of coconut oil in order to help it melt a little bit more. Um, and you'll see why when we start to melt the chocolate. And then in order to decorate it, you can use sprinkles if you want to. Um, this is optional. So if you don't have sprinkles, don't worry about it. They're gonna taste just fine. But if you wanna make them fancy, you can use sprinkles to put over the top of them. Okay, I'm gonna grab my vanilla and we're gonna get ready to do this. So. Now, I started to get my butter ready because it was a little bit hard, so I whipped it so that it's nice and creamy and able to mix with everything else. Need a teaspoon of vanilla. And just put it right into your mixer. And then you're gonna need two cups of powdered sugar. And then you can turn this on and start mixing the butter, the vanilla, and powdered sugar together. Which will give you time to scoop up your peanut butter. Now, scooping up peanut butter can get messy. So, you want to use a spatula. And you just get a big old dollop of peanut butter. Put it in your measuring cup. good activity to do on a cloudy day when you're not out hanging out in the sunshine. I hope you guys are all getting an opportunity to hang out in the sunshine. Maybe work on your nature journals that Sam talked about. That's a really good thing to do. Or at least getting in some really nice walks. We've been spending a lot of time outside in the sun ourselves, so a little bit cloudy today. It's a good day to make some peanut butter balls. Alrighty, so I have one and a half cups of peanut butter here and I'm going to add it to the, peanut, the powdered sugar and butter mixture. So here we go. where the spatula comes in handy because you can get all of that yummy peanut butter out of the cups and you just scrape the edges just like that. There we go. That was our half a cup. This is one cup. And if you want to make more, you can always double the recipe. I find that if I make too many, then they, then everybody in the house eats them too fast. If I make a little bit, sometimes they 
savor them. Sometimes, right camera person? Yeah. <laughs> Not all the time, but sometimes. And it's okay, because I can always make more. All right, we're gonna mix all that together. There is some powdered sugar on the sides. We're gonna take our spatula and we're gonna get all of that powdered sugar in here. Now, you might be saying, Anna, why do we wanna add powdered sugar to our peanut butter balls? Well, the thing is, is that you need, these need to like have a form to them. And peanut butter is a little, I mean, it's sticky. It's a little hard to form. If you add the powdered sugar, it gives it a little bit more form to it so you can actually roll them into balls. All right, now comes the fun part. We get to get our hands in here now. Everybody hopefully wash their hands before they started. But here's the thing. We're gonna actually use our hands to make these peanut butter balls. So I'm gonna wash my hands again. I know I've already washed my hands to start with, but I'm gonna wash them again and make sure that they're really nice and clean because you're gonna get your hands on these. And yes, you're gonna get a little goopy. And I will show you a trick that will help it so that they don't stick to your hands that much. It's a good trick. It's still gonna stick to your hands though, just to let you know. All right guys, so we're gonna wash our hands again. Use our warm water. Use our soap. And then we're gonna sing the happy birthday song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear everybody. Happy birthday to you. Rinse them off really well. Get all those germs off of your hands. Using a clean towel, you want to dry them off. You want to make sure they're good and dry for a couple reasons now. Number one, you don't want to reinfect. But number two, if they're wet, they're really going to stick to this peanut butter. Okay. Here we go, guys. Here is Miss Anna's trick to rolling peanut butter balls. First, we're going to get a spoon. And then we're gonna take just a little bit of our powdered sugar. We'll put it, because we're gonna need, we're gonna need a little bit of this periodically. We're gonna put it in just a small, one of the smallest, probably like a fourth a cup. You don't need a lot, but you're gonna need a little bit more. All right, guys, ready to see the trick? It's a good trick. You're gonna take this powdered sugar and you're gonna put it in your hand and then you're gonna take your hands and you're gonna coat them in powdered sugar. See that? Now they got powdered sugar all over them. So this is gonna make it so this peanut butter doesn't quite stick to my hands. It will still stick to my hands. Like I said, it is just that way. And then you're gonna take a good amount and I make mine eh, a little bit big. Everybody likes a big peanut butter ball. And you're gonna roll them into a ball and you're gonna do just that. You're gonna roll all of this up into balls. Just like that, you guys. So we're going to roll all these up in peanut butter balls and then we're going to come right back and I am going to show you what we do next. This is going to get all rolled up 
all the peanut butter balls. I'm gonna put them on a cookie sheet and I'm gonna stick them in the freezer for about 15 minutes. And I will set a timer for 15 minutes. And while those are freezing, we're gonna do the second part, but we'll be back in a little bit after I get these all rolled up, okay? See you soon. Okay, welcome back. So we are going to turn on the oven now. And we're gonna start melting our chocolate. Now, I'm using melting chocolate, so it melts a lot faster. If you're using chocolate chips, it might take a little bit more time. Um, the coconut oil just helps make it smoother when it melts down. Um, and then you need it a little bit more with chocolate chips than you do with this melting chocolate. And melting chocolate usually does pretty quick. So, as you can see, I'm using a plastic spatula so I don't scrape the bottom of the pan. And, um, and we're just gonna melt this all up. And then we're gonna take our frozen peanut butter, balls of peanut butter, and dip it into the chocolate. Now, I have a very small amount and I'm probably gonna need to melt some more so that there's enough for all of the little chocolate balls that I have in there. So once this is all melted, we're gonna take them out of the freezer and just, I'll show you what we do. We just dip them in there. Be really good. Okay guys, so we've got our chocolate all melted. We're just going to take our peanut butter and we're gonna dip it in here and get it all covered in chocolate. And we're just gonna basically transfer it. From the chocolate onto the wax paper. And then we're trying to cover it all the way with chocolate, so we're going to flip this one over so it has chocolate on the bottom. Or maybe not. Maybe we're going to do that. There we go. Now it's all covered. And then what you can do while it isn't, while it hasn't dried yet, is you can take your sprinkles and you can just go over the top. And look at that. You have a little chocolate covered um, peanut butter ball that you can share with your family. Now whatever you do, don't eat more than like one or two of these at a time. They're really, really rich and they can give you a tummy ache. But it's definitely something fun to do. I guess I'm supposed to be using a different color. <laughs> A little bit of a different style. And there we have it, guys. Those are chocolate covered peanut butter balls. I hope you have fun making this. It was fun to show you guys how to do it. And uh, have a great day. Have a fun time cooking.